Hello, in this video I'm going to show you an example of how we can use the vector cross product to find the equation of a line that is perpendicular to two other given lines. So it's not going to be too long of a video, it's just one example, uh, but at the end I'll show you kind of like a 3D graph of the two lines and then the new one that we found so that you can see this actually does work and maybe it'll give you a bit more insight into how this works. Uh, if it is useful, please do like and subscribe. Okay, so let's look at this question here. So we're given the lines L1 and L2 and we're asked to find the equation of the line through the point 2, 6, 1 that is also perpendicular to both line 1 and line 2. So let's think how we can do that. Well, the new line is going to have some form like this, uh, a vector equation of, well, the position vector, A, which is just a point on the line, plus some scalar multiple of the direction vector of the line. Well, in the question, we're given a point that is on the line. It's the point 2, 6, 1. Okay, so this is going to be my position vector. That's going to tell me how to get onto the line. And then we need to find the direction vector D. Well, let's think, if the line is perpendicular to both line 1 and line 2, that means the direction vector of our new line, dotted with the direction vector of line 1, so negative 2, 1, 7, that's got to equal 0 because they're perpendicular to each other. And the direction vector of our new line dotted with the direction vector of line 2 must also be equal to 0 because that is also perpendicular to line 2. And so to find this vector, which is perpendicular to both uh, the vector negative 2, 1, 7 and negative 3, 2, 1, I'm going to calculate the cross product of those two vectors. So let's find that. So I'm going to take negative 2, 1, 7 and cross it with the vector negative 3, 2, 1. And the way I'm going to calculate this is by calculating the determinant of a matrix. And the matrix is going to be uh, I, J, K on the top row, which is my unit vectors. And then I'm going to take uh, the second row to be negative 2, 1, 7, and the third row to be negative 3, 2, 1. There we go. So let's calculate the determinant. It's going to be I multiplied by the determinant of 1, 7, 2, 1, minus J multiplied by the determinant of negative 2, 7, negative 3, 1, plus K multiplied by the determinant of negative 2, 1, negative 3, 2. So this is going to give me I multiplied by, well, 1 subtract uh, 14 is negative 13, minus J multiplied by, uh, I've got negative 2, subtract negative 21, so negative 2 plus 21 is positive 19, plus K multiplied by, uh, it's going to be negative 4, subtract negative 3. So it's going to be negative 4 plus 3, which is minus 1. So this is going to give me some vector negative 13, negative 19, negative 1. Okay, And this new vector is going to be perpendicular to both the direction vector of line 1 and the direction vector of line 2. And so now I can say this new line that's perpendicular to both and passing through the point 2, 6, 1 is going to be, well, 2, 6, 1, that takes me onto the line, plus some scalar multiple of this new direction vector. So negative 13, negative 19, negative 1. And that is our answer. And to visualize this a bit more, you can see here, these are the two lines we started with, line 1 and line 2. Uh, and so I'm just going to add in now uh, the line we've just found. So this is the perpendicular line to both. And hopefully you can see, I mean, it's quite hard to angle it perfectly, but you can see that it is perpendicular to both line one and line two. So this is what it looks like in 3D. And if you want to check it as well, you could just calculate the dot product of this new direction vector we found with the original two vectors and check that it equals zero. So hopefully this was useful. If it was, please do like and subscribe and go over to my channel where I have tons of other maths tutorials. Thanks for watching.